Hello viewers, welcome to Joy's Kitchen. I hope you are doing good. Today I'm going to show you my special special lamb shank stew and I call it actually slow cook lamb shank stew. Trust me, it, you can see the picture, it looks so good and believe me, it's so flavorful, it's so good, it's so yummy and it's so soft. The meat gonna come from the bone, it's like moist and melting and buttery, it's so good. So I'm gonna show you step by step how I'm gonna cook it and uh, as I said it's slow cook so definitely it's gonna take a bit longer, long time. So I hope you're gonna enjoy my recipe. So here you go, enjoy the recipe. So to cook my uh, slow cook lamb shank, I actually took 5 pieces of lamb shank here. This is the big uh, lamb shank pieces. They have small one as well but I quite like the big one for this kind of slow cook dish because uh, they're gonna melt in your mouth and they are so buttery and it's quite full of flavor as well and this is uh, like a hard part of uh, lamb so they need to be slow cooked all the time and yeah I took 5 of them. So if you just ask your butcher and they're gonna make sure that uh, which one you want they're gonna make sure that one they're gonna provide and I took five medium sized onion and I sliced it very finely you can see because I'm not adding any onion paste so I need at least four to five medium sized onion and I finally sliced it and I took two medium sized garlic and I just took the whole clove I didn't mash it it's not minced it's just a whole garlic cloves and they're gonna be like really sweet in this stew so yeah whole, whole garlic cloves and uh, for dry spice here you can see I took two teaspoon of red chili powder two teaspoon of roasted cumin powder two teaspoon of coriander powder two and a half teaspoon of plain paprika powder this is not smoked one just plain paprika powder two teaspoon of garam masala powder this is mixture of clove cardamom cinnamon bay leaf um, uh, uh, you know just regular garam masala powder one teaspoon of mace powder half teaspoon of nutmeg powder and one and a half teaspoon of black pepper powder and one chicken stock cube just one chicken stock cube you can use lamb stock as well and two teaspoon of sugar and salt taste wise so these are the dry spices I need to cook this uh, stew and two and a half teaspoon of ginger paste two and a half teaspoon of garlic paste so it's ginger garlic paste two and a half two and a half and around two teaspoon of uh, tomato puree here and few green chilies just few green chilies and this one for tarka parpas so I took some julienne ginger around two pinch of whole cumin seed and some dry red chilies that one I'm gonna use it for tarka so whole uh, cumin seed some whole dry chili and some julienne ginger that's it this is uh, just separate tarka and plain vegetable oils so I'm gonna cook the whole dish in this plain vegetable oil so these are the ingredients I need to cook my uh, lamb shank and I need a large uh, cooking pot which I can put it in the oven for slow cooking so I actually took my one you can see this is quite good and big spacious uh, cooking pot so in a separate frying pan now I'm gonna add at least five tablespoon of oil and I'm gonna fry my onions till they are lightly golden brown uh, I need at least five to six tablespoon of oil because lamb have quite a lot of oil but this is like a shank so that one is not too fatty piece of meat so I need a little bit more oil than as usual lamb uh, stew and I'm it gonna take at least four to five minutes to soften my uh, onions just like that after around five to six minutes my onions look like that and it's quite soft now you can see and it's slightly golden brown and uh, that's the time I'm gonna add all my ginger garlic paste as I said I'm I, I used actually two and a half and two and a half uh, teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste and I'm gonna fry this onion with this ginger garlic paste for at least three minutes more just like that just to uh, fry them properly and I don't want all the red raw smell from the garlic in my stew so it's gonna take at least two to three minutes 
So after three minutes of frying, now I'm gonna use all my dry spices here and I'm gonna fry this onion with these dry spices for another at least six to seven minutes till the oil comes up. That's gonna take a little bit longer and I'm gonna cook these uh, onions in a moderate heat because I don't want to burn them. And at the same time, I'm gonna add around uh, two to three tablespoons of boiling water uh, just to uh, fry my onions and spices together properly. You can see already the color is so good and trust me it's so good this stew is like deadly stew trust me it's so good and so flavorsome it's slow cooked but it's worth it it's gonna take at least five hours to cook my whole dish but it's just worthy and uh, you don't need to do too much thing it's actually quite simple so after six minutes that's how my onion looks you can see the oil came up and it's almost done it's actually done the spices are all, all almost done so this is ready to go to my uh, pot so now in my main cooking pot I added another two tablespoons of oil just plain oil because I'm gonna fry my lamb shank a little bit just for five minutes just to give it a little bit of golden color on top of it this is not necessary but if you do it it's just seal the meat so it is quite good you just make sure that you fry your meat before you put it in the oven with all the spices so five minutes should be fine just to give a golden kind of color on top of it that's it So you can see my lamb shanks have a little bit of golden texture or color on top of it. So I'm going to fry all the lamb shanks just like that before I put it in the oven. So now my lamb shanks are already golden and it's quite sealed you can see. And this is the time I'm going to add all my spices which I cooked earlier. I'm going to add on top of it. Oh, that's gonna be so flavorsome and so good because you can already see the color of my uh, cooked spices or onions this is a slow cooked dish but it's just it's gonna take at least five hours but trust me it, as, as soon as it, it, it finished it's just so good because the meat gonna come from the bone it's gonna be like buttery melting and it's so good and now I'm gonna add all those tomato puree this tomato puree gonna give it a little bit of tanginess and richness in the final gravy and a little bit of sweetness at the same time and one chicken stock cubes as I said you can add even beef stock cubes and those whole uh, garlic cloves those green chilies green chili is up to you you can avoid or you can add more it's totally up to you they're gonna give really nice kind of uh, flavor in my uh, prepared stew and now for the gravy I'm gonna add at least uh, six cups of boiling water six to seven cups because you have to make sure because lamb shank takes so long to uh, become soft so you need a lot of water for this dish because definitely when the dish is going to be prepared it's not going to be like that runny watery or like that because those one gonna meat gonna soak all the juice and it's gonna evaporate anyway so at least five six or seven cup I am using around seven cup of boiling water in my stew you can already see how good it looks so when it's gonna be like done trust me it's just deadly uh, stew I have to say and now I'm gonna cover my pot with the foil paper and the cover of the pot it's gonna be like double protected and double covered and I'm gonna put it in the oven uh, for at least four to five hours and of course I'm gonna check it in the middle so my pot is in the oven for four hours and the temperature is 200 degree uh, for four hours and uh, you can check in the middle of course so after four hours that's how my uh, lamb shank looks you can see it's already prepared and now i'm gonna add my tarka those uh, ginger whole cumin seed and red chili tarka on top of it and again I'm gonna put it in the oven for another half an hour just to spread uh, the smell of the tarka uh, in the meat inside the meat and uh, in the gravy still it's a little bit runny but when after half an hour that's gonna be a little bit more dry and uh, well done but my lamb shanks are quite soft now because I checked it with the fork and uh, yeah that's how I like my lamb shank not too soft not uh, obviously not too hard 
and you can see it looks so good so I'm gonna cover it with the foil again and I'm gonna put it in the oven for another half an hour to 40 minutes just like that So here you go guys, this is my slow cook lamb shank stew, it's ready for you and as you can see it looks so good, so delicious, it took actually altogether 5 hours but trust me it's worthy and if you uh, cook this dish, you don't have to uh, walk too much anyway, it's so good to eat with rice, pilau or paratha or bread or anything or even pasta. So don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends, family and neighbors and trust me I, will, I hope you're gonna cook this recipe and you're gonna love it so here you go bye bye Ta -da!